Hi, hello. I'm Isabel Whitley. I am Mrs. CAD. That is the uh, female side of computer audio design. Um, we're a small British company that manufactures uh, digital front end uh, products and grounding materials. Um, so, what we've got in the Wilson Banesh room today at the Bristol show, we're very grateful to be there, their digital front end. Um, we have our source components, which is the CAD audio transport, which is a computer server, so it's a Windows based machine. Um, below it, you'll see the CAD 1543 DAC, uh, so named because the chips are Philips TDA 1543 chips. Um, this is an acrylic uh, component. Everything is made in the United Kingdom. Um, joining the two is a USB cable, which is our latest product. Um, a half hour plus has just reviewed that, uh, which you can read in this month's coming uh, edition. Um, and then underneath you can see there is a small box here with a small light on it. That is the independent linear power supply for the server. And then there are three boxes without lights. And they haven't got lights on because they're not plugged in, they're passive. These are our ground controls. We have two of the small ones which are called the GC1, ground control one. And these are GC1.1 which is the new generation product. Um, and underneath there is GC3.1, so called, because guess what? It's three times bigger than a GC1.1. Um, these two individual uh, boxes are connected just to one device each. One is connected to the server and one to the DAC. Um, the reason we've connected to those devices is because the server, although it's a very quiet server, it's creating a huge amount of high frequency noise, which is affecting not only the way we sound when we play, but it's also affecting everything else in this, this stand. So we've attached our noise reduction device to try to make that even quieter. And secondly, the DAC is independently treated as well, because that is also a noisy device. In, in the uh, entire hotel, everybody, I and mean, there are many rooms here, we're all on the same earth. And that earth, it's a big place and it's very noisy. So what we have done is attach the large GC 3.1 to the main earth. And we've done that by connecting to two little power strips which are at the back of the rig. You can't see them, there's no conditioning, there's no filtering. There's just two little power strips and we've connected just to the earth of those. Now, cost-wise, our server is um, reassuringly expensive at £17,500. <coughs> Excuse me. The DAC in uh, its Mark III form, which is coming out soon, is £15,000. The new cable is £1,500. And the ground controls start with the GC1.1 is 1995 and the uh, GC3.1, let me get this right, in pounds is 4,950, and then cables are on top, and they are 300 pounds each, all including VAT, of course. Uh, and I think that's, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.